Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Adams, Secretary of the Florida Anti-Aging Center in Satellite Beach, Florida. I recently attended the World Anti-Aging Conference in Las Vegas. Here again, I met with a girl, Dr. Terry Hartog from Belgium. I studied under him and he's considered to be, by many to be the world leader in anti-aging medicine. He lectured on exciting breakthroughs in Alzheimer's disease. Can we stop or even reverse this process or should we initiate treatment before the decline? Alzheimer's disease uh, has uh, tripled since the year 2000 and 8 million people currently suffer. What can we do with it? Well, I'm here to spread the word that there's something we can do. Now, to her talk talked about many critical hormone systems. I'm going to summarize five of them because it's extremely complicated. They are IGF-1, estradiol, testosterone, thyroid, and pregnenolone. They all have function in memory and memory will support that they are possibly reversing the process. The goal of HRT would be to maintain cognitive function or to reverse its decline. So IGF-1 is possibly the most critical of the group. It's produced uh, in the liver in response to growth hormone stimulation. Uh, IGF-1 levels are much lower in people with Alzheimer's disease and people with much higher levels actually function better and have bigger brain volumes. Dr. Hertog reports one of the side effects of this treatment is superior intelligence, one of my favorite side effects. Administration is complicated by FDA regulations. FDA has many vague positive effects on a system, including stimulating belly fat burning, improving blood sugar metabolism, improving cardiovascular disease, cancer protection, muscle strength, and hair growth. It's one of my favorite secrets. Outcome data for Alzheimer's disease is only preliminary, however. Estradiol is also critically linked, and evidence shows that women severely depleted are more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease, and that women who have had replacement are less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease, and women treated with estradiol also have significant improvement in memory and general function. Also for testosterone, uh, we know that uh, lower levels are associated with higher risk for Alzheimer's disease, and their treatment improved verbal abilities and uh, memory outcomes. Also, thyroid, another cause of reversible dementia, 13% have uh, a low T3, which is one of the key uh, enzymes that we check in our system. There's a substantial medical uh, literature to support its use. Pregnenolone also critically involved in brain function. Low pregnenolone levels carry a two and a half higher times risk of Alzheimer's disease. Pregnenolone is concentrated in the memory centers of the brain and oral replacement is possible. Optimizing these hormones and other critical hormones like vitamin D, omega-3, and magnesium are exciting options for Alzheimer's patients with good evidence to support the use and spread the word. Alzheimer's patients have hope, and if you are developing the symptoms, don't wait too long because we uh, can possibly intervene and prevent the decline. I'm Dr. Raymond Adamchek of the Florida Anti-Aging Center. Call us at 690-003. Thank you very much.